So here is a Google Trends graph showing a decline in global searches for the term AutoCAD from 2004 to now. And here is another graph showing a rise in global searches for the term Revit from 2004 to now. Anyone looking at this graph might draw a conclusion that AutoCAD is an endangered species and it is on its way to extinction. But it's not quite the same thing. I'll show you how in this video. Now I see those comments, you guys are relentless. Why are you still using AutoCAD? Revit does it faster. Okay, I get it. You really like Revit. But let's be real for a second. Would you use a fire hose to water your delicate garden herbs? Imagine the carnage. Plants simply obliterated. Well, that's what using the wrong tool feels like. AutoCAD, well, think of it as your trusty garden hose. Precise, controlled, perfect for the job at hand. Revit, that's your fire hose powerful, specialized, and potentially devastating, at least cost-wise, if used incorrectly. They are both different software made for different purposes. They can be used interchangeably in some situations, but essentially, they are different. Now, AutoCAD is the master of 2D drafting. If your project is simple, technical, and requires precision, AutoCAD is your tool. It's the digital evolution of the drawing board. And yes, it has 3D, but let's be honest, it's like a bonus feature on the classic car. Nice to have, but not the main attraction. Now, need to design a mechanical part or a machine part, AutoCAD makes it a breeze. Well, with Revit, prepare for a digital nightmare with machining or fabrication drawings. AutoCAD shines in small fabrication shops for panel design, for simple house plans. It's the ultimate blank canvas. Revit, while powerful, locks you into its pre-built parametric world. But it really shines in large BIM projects, and AutoCAD is nowhere near its powerful capabilities. But about that Google Trends graph I showed you at the beginning of this video, the one that screams AutoCAD is dying. Don't be fooled, it's a classic case of smoke and mirrors. What if I told you the real story involves hidden players and a market shift you never saw coming? And this story involves BricsCAD, ZWCAD, ECTCAD and many more silent giants. Now, BricsCAD launched in 2002. ZWCAD's initial release was in year 2000, and then Revit also launched somewhere around the same time. So they siphoned off a massive chunk of AutoCAD users because now they have cheaper alternatives in the form of BricsCAD and ZWCAD and specialized alternatives like Revit. And these specialized softwares were doing the specific job quite well. So. With the rise in market share of these softwares, as shown in this graph, the decline in AutoCAD share is quite obvious. Suddenly, the search trends makes a lot more sense, right? So, it's not that AutoCAD is fading. It's that the landscape is changing and other cheaper and specialized alternatives are taking its market share. Now, even within Autodesk, several specialized tool sets appeared like AutoCAD Electrical and Civil 3D in 2005, further taking a chunk from AutoCAD's market share. So the user base of AutoCAD did not vanish. It evolved and moved to Revit, Civil 3D, AutoCAD Electrical, and other competitors. So that means AutoCAD is dying, right? Actually, it's still a big no. Many companies start with AutoCAD. It's the gateway to CAD world. And when they need more specialized tool sets, they upgrade. But millions still find AutoCAD perfectly sufficient, and they don't jump to other specialized softwares. So even though its user base is not as big as it used to be, it's not dying. It has its own market and own use cases where it is undoubtedly the strongest piece of software. By the way, if you want to learn AutoCAD right from scratch in a completely professional way, absolutely for free, then I've created a course called AutoCAD Essentials on SourceCAD. The link is in the description. When you finish the course, you'll also receive a certificate of completion. No conditions, simply sign up and start learning now. now Back to the main topic. With new industries starting their foray in CAD world with AutoCAD, it is still a strong and dependable piece of software, and it will remain so for years. So that was my take on this specific question on Revit versus AutoCAD, and is AutoCAD really dying? Now, what is your take on this burning question? Do you think AutoCAD is still a dying species on its way, well, to extinction? Or did I miss any point or overlooked something that might have added value to this conversation? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.